The Refuge of Life Foundation has announced its commitment to registering 50 indigent students of Washington State for the 2024 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Exams. Founder of the Red Front Nigeria, Mr. Bolanle Olabode, made this announcement at the seventh anniversary and award. The event, which was that, changed the narrative of societal insecurity with quality education was held on Wednesday in Oshomo. In his speech, Bolanle said, the foundation was spurred out to take this action after stumbling on the statistics that reveal the state of half of school children in the Oshun state. Well, um, the rationale behind it is um, as a result of the statistics that we had um, in Oshun state. Oshun state has the highest number of um, out of school children in Southwest. And because of this, we decided what project should we embark upon that will be a highlight of our seventh anniversary? And that is why we discover that we can also fill the gap by taking few uh, that we have capacity to take out of the street. And that is why we are doing register 50 indigenous students for 2024 UTME. Keynote speaker of the event, Professor Tizilayo. Ayatunde, the pride of state of security in the nation. Uh, security is, a, is, a, is one of the fundamental human rights. Our government, we know that government cannot do it all alone, but at the same time, they have to take the lead. Government should um, uh, put more effort, serious effort, because it's, the, uh, it's, it's one of the principles that they need to give to us. We need to put more effort in the area of security agencies. We know what happened during the past government. They released so many billions of naira to buy equipment, to buy tools, to buy hammers, ammunition. But we know what happened, we know the saga that we got from that. So this government, this particular government should do something, at least to make sure that the security of life and property is number one, is a priority for their, for their agenda. They should do it by all means. And again, employment. Employment. One or more, what about delay? It's more beneficial. When you, when they, 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 when you finish and you are able to see something, uh, you get fully employed. You don't want to do anything, any bad thing. So government should see what they can do. Like they promise and they are coming down. Partner of the foundation and award recipient, Ayodeji. Or logo celebrated the consistency of the foundation and called on other well-being citizens to join in building the educational sector. I celebrate consistency, especially when it has to do with social work. I have known the executive director of education life for over 20 years. I lost my school son and uh, I testified to a number of activities that he was able to carry out as an undergraduate. And you all would have thought perhaps all that will end with um, school. But 10 years, 20 years after school, seeing him being committed to progress of young people excites me. So for me, I, a lot of people have so much that they don't give at all. So for him to have sat down with members of his team to see how to better the life of our 50 indigenous students, by offering them scholarship in terms of paying for their damn food and getting them trained for the damn examination is a lot. Imagine if you take 50 youths off the streets, if you take 50 youths off the potential for crime, they are definitely committed a great benefit to such a community. So when you see an individual who is doing this kind of thing, all that is needed is that we show him all the love and support. I congratulate the beneficiaries of the goodwill for the Radio Life Foundation and also celebrate the members of Team of the Radio Life Foundation on their seventh anniversary and this should serve as a wake up call to those that God has blessed financially, economically and socially, not to just limit it to just themselves. The young beneficiaries of the project express gratitude for the kind gesture. Organization, um, I, would, I would like to express my gratitude to them for Propounding this kind of project for the benefit of the majority. So I really appreciate them and I feel aesthetic about it. And I hope that other people like other organizations will would, would like to would like to establish this organization to make the
to make the nation grow stronger and for the development of the... I'm very happy and fulfilled. And, and I would like to thank Refuge of Life Foundation for giving us this opportunity. And I pray that we God, may God bless them. From Oshobo Kids Edit Inside Links TV. Insights Media. Yeah.